Hey people, I'm Michael from the Kids Library. Today we're going to play around with a cool app called Scratch Junior. Scratch Junior is really good at teaching the basics of computer coding, but in a fun way. We make stories and animations by telling our characters what to do. So Scratch Junior is an app that you can use on an iPad like we do in our programs at the library, but you can also use other tablets, phones, or a Chromebook. Just type in Scratch Junior JR to find it. So once you get Scratch Junior, and it's totally free by the way, you tap this home button here, and then you tap the plus button. That'll get you to this blank screen with a cat and a lot of different buttons. So all these blue buttons are for making our friend Scratch the Cat do something like move around. So to use them, you drag them down to this space here. For example, this one makes them go forward. This one makes them go up. This one makes them go down. This one makes them jump. But remember how I said it's like a story. We can't just throw everything all mumbo jumbo around. So we gotta have a place to start. There's a yellow button all the way to the left here. If you tap it, you'll see this green flag, the first thing. We're going to go ahead and drag that down. That is where we start. And so now that we have a place to start, let's add all those blue buttons to the flag. It's nice, they fit together like puzzle pieces. So here's that piece that tells them to go forward. Here's that piece that tells them to go up. Here's that piece that tells them to go down. Here's that piece that makes them do a couple hops. It's kind of like Simon says. So we want Scratch to do a flip. When we have that piece by itself, we're just saying do a flip, but Scratch doesn't fall for it and he doesn't do a flip. But when we put it with the green flag, then we're saying Simon says do a flip, and then Scratch does a flip. Now that we've told Scratch what to do with our blue buttons when we start, let's press the start button by tapping on the green flag. Okay, that was pretty quick. And kind of boring. And there's a reason for that. So when we said, hey Scratch, move forward, move up, move down, we didn't say how much. So Scratch was lazy and moved the tiniest bit possible. But we can change that. And just a quick tip, after we hit the green flag and Scratch moves around, if we want to get him back to where he started in the middle, we can add this last blue button to the little end of our story like this. This button moves Scratch back to where he was before he pressed start. You can also press this button up here. But let's do it one more time. And he moved back. It's really helpful. So if we want to make Scratch move more and do more, let's tap on the bottom of one of those blue buttons we have. So right now you can see forward, up, and down are only set to one. So Scratch only moves them a tiny bit. Let's try turning it up to 11 for each button. You can just click on it and then the little number pad will appear. So we get 11, click on this, 11, click on this, 11. Okay, there we go. Let's hit the green flag and start. Ooh, okay, he goes way farther now, all the way around the world and back to the other side of the screen and all the way up in space and back down again. So 11 was too high, we need a smaller number. Let's change these from 11 to 5 and see how that looks. Okay, 5, 5. Let's hit start. Okay, cool, that's better. He's moving, but he's not flying off the screen. This also works for these blue buttons that make Scratch rotate. So if you see right now, when it's set to 1, it doesn't do too much. Let's try it. Yeah, it just makes them rotate a tiny bit. But if you change the number like we did with the forward and up and down and all that to 12, then Scratch does a flip. Alright, so let's move on to some more fun stuff. So it's a little boring here right now, so to spice up what we've got, we can add in some cool backgrounds. If you tap up here, it's the little photo at the top. They've got plenty of awesome backgrounds to try out, 
but you can also make your own custom backgrounds by clicking this paintbrush here up in the top right. And so you can do what I'm doing right now and just drawing. But what people love to do is there and making some grass. What people love to do is there is a camera button all the way here on the right. And so you could take a picture of something like a setting like your house or neighborhood or your room and then make a cool story with some wacky characters in there. But although <laughs> most of the Scratch Junior classes I taught, kids mostly just like to take funny pictures of their face and put that as the background. There we go. There's also plenty more characters to add in other than our friend Scratch. On the left side, if you click the plus button under Scratch the Cat, Scratch Junior gives you a ton of different characters that you can put in your project. And you can also put in background things like a bed or a planet, stuff like that. But then you can also... Oops, you can also make your own custom drawing just like we did with the backgrounds. So I could say make a stick figure but then you also have the cool option of doing it with the camera. You can take a picture and then it can be a character in your Scratch Junior project. So I chose the moon for my background and for my second character let's see Let's go with the school bus. So when you add in a new character, like I just did with this bus, you can make it move and do other stuff just like we did with our first character scratch, like this. And so let's get started with getting that green flag again so we can start. So I'm going to show you a couple more cool things that you can do with your characters. So I talked about this green little flag being like the start of our story. Well, you can actually have two stories going at once. So if I wanted to have the bus spin, let's do that, and let's just do 99 so it keeps spinning. But I wanted to do something else at the same time. So we can use a separate starter flag here. And then there's one really cool option I've for neglected to mention, the sound recording. So you can make your own sound effects. Okay, so let's try and record a sound effect. So we're going to press this little microphone button. And then when we pass, press the record button, the one with the red circle, it's going to record what we say. Beep, beep. Okay, let's see how that sounds. Beep, beep. Awesome. So now we're going to do one last thing. And this is a weird one. There's an orange button here, and there is all the way on the right this big whatever this is over here. And what this does is it lets you repeat stuff. So I don't have to have this going and keep putting more and more on that. I can just take this and put it in that. And this thing says it's going to repeat that four times. So now. Let's try it. I've got the bus spinning. I've got the sound effect playing. It's going to play four times while this is all happening. And our friend Scratch the Cat is also going to do what we were ma what we made him do earlier. Let's see how it looks. Beep beep. Beep beep. Beep beep. Cool. Space bus. Alright folks, so that is it for today. I hope you all have fun trying this at home. I encourage you to just play around with Scratch Junior on your own because that's when you learn the most and you have the most fun. So I'm also some, including some challenges in the description of this video that you can try as well as some more resources on Scratch Junior. I hope you all have an awesome day.